Why DJI Mini 3 is the most anticipated drone yet? DJI Mini 3 is probably the most anticipated drone ever since DJI Mini 2 came out. But why is that? In this video, we will be discussing what makes DJI Mini 3 so sought after, what are the latest leaks and features that we can expect from the DJI Mini 3, and when we can expect DJI to release the DJI Mini 3 to the public finally. Before we start, please make sure to click the like and subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. What is driving the DJI Mini 3 anticipation? The last drone in DJI's Mini series came out back in 2020. It was the DJI Mini 2, and it was an instant hit among drone enthusiasts. People praised it for its small form factor and sub 250 gram weight. The weight was necessary because many countries don't require users to have a license to fly a drone if the drone weighs under 250 grams. And this is the exact sweet spot the DJI Mini 2 was hitting. A smaller form factor meant that you could close the drone and put it in your pocket. But the main attracting factor for the DJI Mini 2 was that it came with a half 3 inch CMOS sensor that could support 4K video. This feature was a significant upgrade from the original DJI Mavic Mini, as it only offered 2.7K video capture. 4K video support for such a small drone was groundbreaking for the time. People have high expectations from the DJI Mini 3. Everyone is jumping on the hype train because they think DJI will be bringing massive new upgrades to the DJI Mini platform with the DJI Mini 3. DJI has brought new features to their drones, like OcuSync 3.0, a significant upgrade over OcuSync 2.0. OcuSync 3.0 can transmit higher bitrate videos with a minimal delay with more bandwidth and reduced latency. Many drone experts also think that the DJI Mini 3 will have other premium features like active track and obstacle avoidance. These features were previously limited to DJI's more expensive drones like the Mavic series. DJI Mini 2 has been a fan favorite ever since it hit the markets in November 2020. And now, people are anxiously waiting to see what DJI brings to the minigame with their next DJI Mini drone, the DJI Mini 3. What is DJI's competition doing in the sub 250 gram space? Just because DJI has been so secretive about their DJI Mini 3, it doesn't mean the competition for the sub 250 gram drone has stopped. Companies like Autel and Hubzen saw the overwhelmingly positive response that DJI Mini 2 received, and they decided to make their mini sub 250 gram drones as well. Evo Nano is a sub 250 gram mini drone by Autel Robotics weighs about 249 grams. It comes with things like three-way obstacle avoidance with binocular vision sensors. The Evo Nano has two different variants. The Evo Nano and the Evo Nano Plus. The regular Evo Nano has a 1 12th inch CMOS camera sensor, while the Plus Edition has a larger one 1 1.28 CMOS camera sensor. The CMOS sensor on the Evo Nano Plus allows it to take 50 megapixel pictures. Not only that, but the sensor also has a pretty large aperture that reduces picture noise and gives great picture results even in low light conditions. Evo Nano Plus has a PTAF and CDF autofocus system to track subjects with great precision. On the other hand, the regular Evo Nano can take 48 megapixel pictures and record videos at 4K 30fps. Putting an obstacle avoidance system is a significant upgrade. The DJI Mini 2 didn't have any obstacle avoidance. This is why most people expect that DJI will now be forced to compete, and the DJI Mini 3 will have a complete obstacle avoidance system. The Evo Nano series is priced a little higher than the pricing for DJI Mini series. The Evo Nano will set you back $650, and the Evo Nano Plus will cost you $799. These prices are significantly higher than what DJI Mini series is usually cost. At launch, the DJI Mini 2 cost about $449. The price is another reason people can't wait for DJI to release the DJI Mini 3. Not only will it offer extra features DJI is known for, like OcuSync, but it will also be cheaper than other alternatives. Other mini drone that has gotten popular is the Hubzen Xeno Mini Pro and Hubzen Mini SE. Both are sub 250 gram drones with 4K 30fps capabilities, just like the DJI Mini 2. They are cheaper than Autel's Nano series. The Xeno Mini Pro will cost about $499, and the Xeno Mini SE is just $349. What are some of the features we can expect from the DJI Mini 3? This is the main competition DJI Mini 3 will be facing when it comes out. Many leaks suggest that we get 4K 60fps with the DJI Mini 3. 
Since DJI Mini 2 already did 4K 30fps, DJI would be looking to upgrade to make the DJI Mini 3 more attractive to buyers. Other expected features are OcuSync 3.0 support, active tracking, missing from DJI Mini 2, and an improved obstacle avoidance system. With OcuSync 3.0 support, drone enthusiasts are expecting the DJI Mini 3 will be able to do a 1080p live video stream to your phone. And the bandwidth from the OcuSync 3.0 means that the DJI Mini 3 will be supported by DJI FPV Googles 2.0 and even other advanced FPV Googles. When can we expect DJI to release the DJI Mini 3? DJI is the market leader for drones. They are the trendsetters in the drone space, every other company follows in their shadow, trying to catch up. So we can expect DJI to come out with some new technology or features when they release DJI Mini 3. DJI is always working on futuristic technologies that further expand the drone industry. Other companies like Autel and Hubzon are always catching up. So many people are excited to see what futuristic technology DJI comes up with for their DJI Mini 3. There is no set date for the release of the DJI Mini 3. DJI spokespersons have been denying all the rumors about DJI Mini 3 and have not released official details. But most industry experts are expecting DJI to release the DJI Mini 3 in February or March of 2022. That is just a few months away now. So, if you are looking to buy a Mini drone, it would be a good idea to wait for the DJI Mini 3 to release because it is sure to blow everything away when it comes out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.